Hi Taurus, Naraya here. I'm going to do a reading for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. My name is Naraya and I go by Nay. And we are going to do a quick reading for you. So please know to take what fits and leave the rest. This is not a personal reading. And what is not for you may be for somebody else. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what messages and guidance do we have for Taurus? Please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Taurus. Please and thank you. Cross watcher, feel free to reverse the rules. If you don't know what a cross watcher is, a cross watcher means that you're dealing with or have dealt with a Taurus and you're not a Taurus and you're watching the reading. But you, what I say happened, but in the opposite. All the things I'm saying to Taurus act like I'm saying them to you. You know what's your story. Messages and guidance. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. Messages and guidance for Taurus spirit. Messages and guidance for Taurus. Please and thank you. Well, I have the King of Pentacles. This is somebody grounded. This is somebody reliable and dependable. Hmm. Taurus, I feel like this is you. And it could be vice versa. Um, you could have been this person... Um, also loyal and s somebody may be thinking about you or you may be reminiscing about somebody that was in this energy with you at one time they were loyal and reliable um, dependable and reliable the same but I'll say both words somebody that you had that you could have had prosperity with or somebody could have had prosperity with you and there may be some reminiscing about that maybe um, they're thinking about how loyal you were to them and they miss that and they're thinking about the good times. This person could have been thinking or could be thinking about how you take control of things, how you make things happen. This is a business owner. Um, this is a person that controls a kingdom with the emperor energy. You could be realizing this about somebody else, that there is a possibility of abundance with somebody from the past or you're reminiscing, realizing how someone had control or was able to take control of things or how you want to take control of a situation now. Messages and guidance for Taurus, please and thank you. Maybe you see somebody that's in the limelight or that people are noticing somebody that's in the public eye or maybe this is you being recognized and noticed may be rewarded in regards to your job. Marriage material, the Empress, the Empress is marriage material and that's really funny because Taurus is associated with the Empress card. Um... Is it Taurus or Libra? One of them, because this is Venus. I think it's you. Um, but this is a person that turns, that touches things and turns them into gold. This person can make things happen. Not only does the Empress birth lives, bring little humans into the world, um, whether it is the egg or the seed, but the Empress makes things happen. This is a person that births ideas and makes things happen. Mm. 
This is in regards to stability in marriage. Maybe somebody's thinking about marriage with you or vice versa. But this is a reason to celebrate, a reason to come together. This is about stability with the Four of Wands and also a marriage card. This is straight to the point. <laughs> Yep, this could be somebody that you walked away from where things were unfulfilling for you. Oh, I dropped a card. One momento. Let me pick that up. So I have the two of wands in reverse. This is normally planning. So I feel like what this is, is I feel like everything I just stated earlier are thoughts. I do feel like somebody walked away from something. I feel like these are thoughts and somebody's not doing anything about it. Like they're not planning to do anything. Two of Wands is planning, so there's no planning to do anything. But then with the Page of Wands, it's kind of like the um, taking a leap of faith. It's like the Fool card. So it feels like there's no planning to, to do anything. It's kind of what I have here. What's the next card? There's no planning to do anything because there's a fear of conflict. There could be a message too, but there's a fear of conflict happening. This card is calling me. This is a seven of cups, which has to do with choices and options, but this person looks worried. So it's almost like somebody's afraid that they won't get chosen. I feel like there's a fear of rejection here. But there may be a gift in this, whatever it is, there may be a gift. Um, this could be um, a tangible gift. This could be a, 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 a promotion, a job that's in store for you. But I feel that someone's afraid of not being chosen or being rejected, but not realizing that if, you, if this person moves forward, there's still some sort of gift to be had in this particular situation. It'll be the closing out of a cycle. There will be completion. Things will turn out the way they're supposed to turn out in regards to this particular situation. So I'm going to leave the reading there. Wow. I'm going to leave the reading there. I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, this can be taken a couple of ways. So... That is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love you. Bye.